A lot of people are kind of wondering what happened to Chosen after Karate Kid Part 2. Well, I think it's quite obvious. What's up boys and girls, my name is Ben Jeremy. I hope you're having a smashing day and this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. For the rest of you, thank you for joining me once again. Fist bump. No? Okay, never mind. Okay, so today we're talking about Chosen. Now, as you know, I'm a huge fan of Karate Kid and I really, really like Karate Kid Part 2 and the whole story of it, like, it's about honor. Honor, big thing in Okinawa. And I really like how they portray Chosen, who is like a good example of when you take honor too seriously. Like you make, when you focus too much on making honor about everything, you sort of start to lose sight at what's important and what's not. And here's the thing in the movie, I think that he was. Uh, Tops 17, 18 years old. I'm talking about Chosen here, okay? And he was conquered by Daniel, which is still a mystery to me. I think that the still the baby rattle thing, uh, probably in combination with Miyagi being a demon sorcerer, something, I don't know what, but I think it's, I mean, it's just amazing that Daniel beat up Chosen the way he did. And it wasn't like he couldn't even pick up his you know hands to defend himself so it's actually that scene like i think he it, they should have made it a bit better you know but but that's just a movie critic part of me you know i i still think that there's something very strange about the way he was beaten up but i think it was mostly because um chosen was so furiously disappointed in himself and also his uncle where the whole honor system had gone you know through the drains i mean he started off as a cool guy because he and his uncle, they were so into the whole thing that they were going to get revenge on Daniel. And then Sato says something, I was wrong. And Chosen's world just crumbles. Not only that, Sato even says that Chosen is dead to him. So I think that a lot of people are instinctively thinking that after the events of Karate Kid Part 2, he was probably committing suicide it's a it's a fair assumption uh another really cool theory is that chosen moved to japan and became a part of the yakuza you know because they had the whole honor system and they got to hurt a lot of people and i think that chosen as a character as a dude really enjoyed doing that to other people so i think he could have been drawn to the yakuza so it was that or suicide. Then there is a third option, of course. And I don't know what your thoughts are on this whole thing. I, I really like your comment below just to know what you think. But I, I sort of think that there is also a slight possibility that when, you know, uh, Chosen is lying there in his puddle of blood uh, or, and feces, perhaps, <laughs> you know, in the castle uh, after Daniel totally gives it to him. Uh, maybe, just maybe, Miyagi said to Sato, Hey, Sato, go and comfort boy, you know? And Sato, you know, probably went over him and he explained, and he looked chosen in his bloody eyes and he said, I am sorry, I was wrong. I shouldn't have said what I said. You're not, I am not dead to you. So let's start over. Let's go out for gelatos daddy's buying or in this case you know uncle is buying and let's just talk let's chill i don't want you to feel bad all of this is my fault this is not your fault this is something that happened between me and miyagi a long time ago and it should not affect you in any way you have a right to your own life i am sorry will you forgive me and scene and that's that's what happened to chosen that's what i i'd like to hope happened what do you think let me know in the comment section below okay that was it hope you enjoyed this video and if you did see that like button smash it and i got some freakishly awesome videos coming up better subscribe so you don't miss a beat i'll see you later peace